I'm Louise from designster.com and I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how you can create a social media image using one of the free backgrounds that you've just downloaded from Designster. Okay, so I'm in over in Designster now and I've opened a blank 800 pixel square social media image. And I'm going to add one of the backgrounds which I have uploaded from my desktop. I'm going to start with the pink and white zigzag background. And I'm just going to enlarge it so that it's nearly the full size of the template. And then using the align panel, send it to the middle of the template. Next, I'm going to draw a square. So shapes panel, select the rectangle and then hold shift down to draw the square and keep it in proportion. I'm going to select the color palette and change it to a dark bluey color and just knock the black hairline border off by taking the border slider down to zero. Again, just send it to the middle of your page. And I'm going to rotate this to 45 degrees. Okay, and I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller so it's not going off the page. Okay, next I will copy that. And this one I'm gonna send, rotate, sorry, to zero. Make it a little bit bigger. Send it to the middle again, and this one's going to be a frame, so I'm going to delete the background colour and make the border a little bit thicker to about six. Then I'm going to copy the colour from the first square by copying the hex code in that colour palette and pasting it in the border slider colour palette over there. Again, just check that's in the middle of the page. Next, I am going to add a glitter frame. I'm going to add this lovely gold textured glittered frame and make that a little bit bigger so that it just sits inside the blue frame nicely with a slight little gap there in between the two frames. Okay, next I'm going to add a shape uh, to sit the web address in. So I'm going to put this one in and over here on the proportion box, I'll untick that. That would keep the shape in proportion, but when you untick it, you can change the shape and proportion of it. So you can also flip it across the other way. So I'm going to do that and then line it up nicely so that it sits well next to this edge of the diamond shape. Okay, so once I've made it so that they line up nice, take the proportion box and then it can make it bigger. Okay, again, I'm going to copy the blue colour, so changing the colour of that shape to the blue to fit in with the rest of the design. And then I'm just going to add in my web address, which is obviously designster.com. Change the font to something a little more simple and place my web address in there. Okay. Next, I'm going to add the text that I want to show on this image, which is a diamond. Oops, I've done it in capital. A diamond is a chunk of coal that did well under pressure. Okay, so add that to the design, and I'm going to change the font to a nice scripted, handwritten style font which is, where is it? This one, Freeland, I like this one. Okay, I'm gonna make it a lot bigger. So it sits nicely in the center of the design, leaving a nice space between the text and the frames. Always don't get too close to the edges. I know it's tempting. Then I'm gonna change the text color to a very light pink to make it stand out against the blue background. Okay, so very simple and quick, just one way that you can use one of your free backgrounds. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. Thanks so much. Bye.